In this video, we are going to discuss about the development of a truncated hexagonal pyramid. We will consider a problem. A hexagonal pyramid of base is 30 mm and axis 60 mm long is resting on HP with the base and two edges of the base are perpendicular to VP. It is cut by a sectional plane inclined at 60 degree to HP and perpendicular to VP which is passing through a point on the axis 20 mm from the base. Draw the development of lateral surface of the truncated pyramid. Hexagonal pyramid is resting on the ground or HP. Two base ed edges of the pyramid are perpendicular to VP. Sectional plane is perpendicular to VP and inclined to HP. Draw the XY line, draw a circle with the side of the hexagon as radius, draw a vertical axis for the circle, from the end points of the axis with the side of the hexagon as radius, cut arcs on both the sides of the axis. Join these points to complete the hexagon. Draw diagonal for the hexagon. The slant edges of the pyramid can be seen as diagonals in the plan. Project all the corners of hexagon. Maintain the height of the pyramid in the elevation. Join all the base corners to the apex point. Name the base corners in the plan as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 and the apex point as O. Name the corresponding points of elevation as 1 dash, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash, 5 dash, 6 dash and the apex point as O dash. The cutting plane or sectional plane is perpendicular to VP, so it can be seen as a straight line in the elevation. Further the cutting plane is inclined to HP. The cutting plane is passing through the axis at a point, 20 mm from the base. Draw a 60 degree line through this point. This line is the cutting plane or sectional plane. Project the points, wherever the cutting plane cuts the solid. Points on the lines 3 0 and 4 0 will not be able to project directly. Initially, these points should be projected horizontally to the adjacent slant edge. Then project it vertically until it meets the corresponding line of the plan. Then, transfer it back to the 3 0 and 6 0 lines by cutting arc from the apex point. Mark these points in the plan as P, Q, R, S, T, and U. The corresponding points in the elevation are P dash, Q dash, R dash, S dash, T dash, and U dash. Darken the required portion after sectioning. Draw hatching lines in the sectional region. For drawing development, true length of slant edge is to be determined. Draw a horizontal line from the apex. From the apex point to any one base corner as radius, cut an arc. Project this point to the elevation. Join this point to, O dash, the apex point of elevation. This line gives the true length. To get true lengths of points on the cutting plane, project those points to the true length line. To draw the development, measure the true length of the slant edge. Draw a line with the same length. Draw an arc with this length as radius. Cut six points on this arc, with the base edge of pyramid as radius. Name these points. Join these points with straight lines.
join these points to the other end of vertical line, that is the apex point. This is the development of a normal hexagonal pyramid, without any sectioning. Now, we have to transfer all the points of section, to the corresponding edges of the development part. For transferring, the points of the base from the plan. Measure the distance of 1p. Mark it on the corresponding line, 1 to 6 of development. Measure the distance of 2q. Mark it in between 2 to 3. For transferring the points on the slant edges, from the elevation. Measure the distance of O' dash, T dash, distance of O' dash to T dash, and O' dash to S dash are same. Mark it on the longer edges 5, and 4. Measure the distance of O' dash, U dash. Mark it on the longer edges 6, and 3. Darken the required portion of the development. Show the dimensions.